Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this uh, video on squeezing those veins. I'm sure that uh, those of you who perform venous Doppler of the lower extremities to rule out uh, venous thrombosis agree with me in that many times it is quite challenging to perform these studies, especially when we have to deal with um, those patients that have very swollen and tender legs. You know, the penetration is difficult. It is difficult to uh, press on the leg, especially if they have very tender legs, very swollen legs. And I'm sure that you have heard of all the different uh, techniques and tricks in terms of switching from the linear transducer to a curvilinear transducer for better penetration. Um, you, probably you've also heard of trying to use your non-scanning hand, so if you're scanning with your right hand, using your left hand, placing it underneath the distal thigh to try to and push up with that hand um, in hope of uh, compressing the uh, the vein much better at that at that point at the distal uh, at the distal thigh so that would be the the femoral vein um, because you know sometimes it is very difficult to compress it with your probe uh, at that point and that's because um, you're getting into an area of um, near the knee where there's a lot of tendons and uh, muscles and and also the the uh, femoral vein at that point goes deep. Another option would be to go from uh, the back of the leg um, and uh, use the popliteal vein and then going up into the distal thigh to see that portion of the femoral vein. That's another option. But what I wanted to talk to you, and, and probably there are many other, uh, other techniques, right? Um, but those are probably the main ones. But what I wanted to talk to you about today was um, something that I've discovered um, that has helped me uh, not only be able to see the, the, the veins better, but more than that is about making the patient more comfortable and more cooperative when you're doing this. Again, especially in those patients that have very swollen legs and very tender legs. So those of you who do, uh, who perform abdominal ultrasound and you have done many studies to rule out appendicitis, um, have noticed that, you know, we use that rebound tenderness technique uh, in that we will compress with the transducer uh, on the area of the appendix, of the abnormal appendix, and then let go very quickly so that uh, we elicit that response of pain. Well, here, the, the, the concept is kind of the same, but the idea is slightly different. So what I've discovered is that if you compress slowly with the probe on the vein, right, to compress the vein, and you also release the pressure very slowly, the patient tolerates the examination much better than if we do the regular, you know, push and release, push and release, right? I have um, noticed and experienced that myself with patients that have told me that, you know, let's say they they found a clot or they've had swollen legs for a few days now at, and they're either hospitalized or not and they come for serial ultrasounds every few days or so, um, they have told me, you know, last time it was a lot more painful than this time. And I've had that more than once. And I think uh, part of that has been this, what I'm telling you, in that um, in the area of the swelling or the tender spot, um, using, you know, the curvilinear probe instead of the linear probe, because it has a round surface, if you compress slowly and you release slowly, uh, it's gonna be less painful. Uh, I'm sure that you remember those patients, when scanning those patients, if you compress quickly and then you release quickly, they're gonna jump uh, with pain because again, that change in pressure on a sore skin um, is going to be quite uh, painful. So next time that you're doing uh, another study, another venous 
uh, Doppler study of the lower extremities looking for a clot, give it a try. Try going slowly in when you compress and slowly out when you're decompressing, when you're releasing the pressure. One of the disadvantages, of course, is that it's going to slow down your study. But I think it's as important to create that comfort level for the patient so that you can work with them better. If they feel more comfortable, they're going to be more cooperative with you and uh, they're going to be able to tolerate it. I mean, if we can do it with the same efficacy in terms of being able to detect those clots or ruling out those clots with, with a slightly different technique, I think uh, we should go for that. Because in the end, uh, we do want to uh, identify those, um, those clots. But if we can make the, uh, the patient more comfortable, I think that's also a plus. Um, anyway, so like I said, give it a try. And I would love to hear from you um, your comments or your uh, feedback once you try this. If you have tried it, I would love also to hear uh, those, uh, those comments from you. Um, so don't forget to subscribe to this channel uh, for any newer uh, free videos on uh, scanning techniques. And until then, happy scanning. And again, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.